Hi everybody. As you can see, Jack's out and about. Why, I don't know, because if I can get a shot, you'll see my man has a pink belly again. So yes, Jack is coming back into shed. And Jack, when he's coming into shed, wants to be around nobody and no one but himself. <laughs> Um, he certainly is that kind of a dude, whereas Lily, <laughs> you know, opposite. But And even when she's in shed, she's still very sociable and, and wanting company, but uh, my boy doesn't. So, um, But he wanted to come out and he was thirsty, so um, I gave him a drink, of course, as I do. And uh, he decided he would pay me a visit so I've brought him over onto the jungle gym which you know all my guys love this so um you know straight onto the jungle gym I think he would have liked to have gone up onto the hangout spot but I'm not really going to keep him out for too long he can just uh, get a little bit of exercise out here and get ready to do his resting which Jack does for at least two weeks um, before he will actually shed. So um, Lily is uh, resting because her belly's a bit full from her feed, but she could probably come out today um, as equally. Oh, not that you can see, Jesse, I don't think because of the glare. But he is in there um, snoozing. But Jack isn't. Jack's cruising instead, which is really, really good. And uh, if you, you know, aren't aware of the signs of shedding, which I'm pretty sure most of you will be, you know, there's the colour really darkens and and yeah, just they they look quite dull and and uh, horrible, not horrible because I think they look beautiful, um, you know, no matter what. Um, also, you will notice um, their eyes, you know, start to become a bit murky and very hard to see their pupil um, at this, this point in time. And not only that, but you will see Jack has a pink belly which is definitely a sign that your snake is coming into shed. Another sign is they do go and hide and rest and aren't very active and just want to be um, pretty much left alone at that uh, time. They want to rest and take it easy because it's a big job getting all that skin off. and. You know, for me, summertime. You know, my guys are gro eating, growing, growing, eating, growing, and shedding. So it's it. I have more sheds over the summer than I do in winter, and I guess that's logical. Um, they're hungrier, and at the moment, especially, Jack is eating much more than he was over the winter. So, of course, they're going to grow, which means they're actually going to shed as well. So, um, yeah, Jack is uh, becoming uh, a big boy. Still not a big, big boy. But, uh, you know, he's getting there and he's, you know, he has his moments, as you know. Snakes have their good days, snakes have their bad days. Jack is no different. Lily, you know what? Honestly, I don't think I've ever known Lily to have a bad day in her life. So uh, when I say snakes have their good days and bad days, that equates to an, your individual snakes. Um, because, yeah, Lily doesn't. Jack does. Whether that's 
male trait or what? Who knows? Hey mister. But in general, you know, I love Jack. He is um, a beautiful boy. I should say man, actually. He's in very important in, the, in my snake family, as they all are. But Jack is going to be my biggest snake. And um, that's great because, you know, he is just so cruisy and, and so easygoing. And, you know, he might be standoffish offish with me, as I've mentioned in a video. But I tell you what, you know, when he's not feeling safe, who does he come running to? And that is me. So that just tells me everything about Jack and what he's like and he's loyal and he's my friend. And I've been in many a situation where Jack could have got me and uh, quite easily but he doesn't want to so you know I have an extreme amount of trust actually in all of them you know all of them so um yeah I just wanted to do a quick video of Jack out because he may not be out for a few weeks, couple of weeks at least. I was really hoping he would get to go to the toilet, but um, he hasn't yet. And if I don't kind of get that going before those eyes go blue, I'm not going to get it going, and I really want it to. So I'll let him get some exercise and, and get that system of his in here. I'm moving, and then down here. Here might have grooven, I think. Lily would quite happily come out right now if I open that door. And after Jack goes back in, I'll open Lily's and I'll see if she wants to come out and say hello. Today, of course, Jessie, I would actually have to go in and get out. And I may well do. I don't know yet. I haven't made up my mind. But there's Jack, looking like he's coming in to shed, guys. So, I'm going to leave it there and uh, say goodbye to you all. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. So... As I always say, or I try to always say, ciao. Oh, God, I can't even get my fingers out of the way to film this. And Jack is kind of interested in having a drink, but he's also very interested in the hand behind the drink too. I fed Jack yesterday and as you can well imagine, he's still very much in a uh, feeding mode response, I guess. You know, am I still going to get some tucker or, or what's happening here, Mum? But all he's actually getting is uh, his water today and Jack is always generally quite thirsty you know the day after he's had uh, something to eat so I always offer him um, some water so you know as much as he still might be interested in there being a rat uh, there isn't, and I want to keep an eye on him as well. Um, keep his head in check. Hey, buddy. You know, 
This is me and Jack when we have our moments as buddies, I guess. You know, when he does have his drink, it's, uh, you know, that is the trust that we actually have. And he's generally pretty darn thirsty. He has his water bowl, but as I think I've mentioned, I've never actually seen Jack drink from the water bowl. And not because, I don't know, I think he has certainly learnt over the years that, um, you know, I give him his drink like this and he knows he will ultimately get a drink like this and I'm happy to do it for him. I don't know if anybody else would but uh, I think he would he'd go to his water bowl you know realizing that he is thirsty and nobody's giving him or offering him that drink as I do and I just um, I don't mind doing it do I Jack? This is when he's, he's had enough, he heads back and gets that all down the back of his throat and uh, we can't see him because he's in the dark. I know, but wasn't a rat, but uh, it was a drink. So, yep, he's got a belly full. So he doesn't want to come out. He wanted a drink.